the people? Is it fear? What's stopping you from getting to that place where you know God has called you to be? Because I come to tell with you tonight, and I'm not prophesying, but I am. <laughs> if you don't move, you're going to die. Hello? And not only you going to die, but you're going to take everything around you with you. Oh, help us, Jesus. All because you are out of position. Yes. Keep your finger there. What time is it? Keep your finger there. Let's go to the book of Genesis. Let me share something which I shared in my Sunday school class once before. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 2. Book of Genesis, chapter 2. Watch this. That's the first book of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis chapter 2. So I read at verse number 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth. Were they, Yahweh? Yeah, the, these are the generations. Let's read. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth. When they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Verse 5, watch this. And every plant of the field. Every plant of the field. God made these things. Before I was in the earth, uh -huh. and, and every herb, before, before we grew, grew, for the Lord God had not caused it. I said, for the Lord God had not caused it to what? Rain. Rain upon the, the earth. earth. Why? And there, and there was, was not, not a man to till the ground. The reason why God could not cause plants and herbs to produce the way he had created them to produce because man was not yet in his position. Hello? They had the ability to do it, but they couldn't do it because man was not, was not in position yet. Wow. <laughs> Watch this. Verse 6. But there would have mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. So in other words, God just kept them alive long enough for man to get in position because once man got into position, then man will be able to cultivate the ground and everything that grew around him. He will be able to manicure it because there was no need of producing blessings in his life if he wasn't in a position to handle it. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Come on now. Help us, help us, help us, help us. Help us. So the only reason why God, because let me tell you something, God is not getting blessings ready for you. They're already ready for you. They just wait for you to get to where you need to be. Talk, preacher. Hello. That's right. <laughs> God don't look back and say, okay, well, she's there. Let me see how I'm going to bless her now. See, God don't think about what he's going to do for you when you get there. God already knows what he's going to do when you get there. Mm-hmm. God don't think about what he's going to do when you get there because he already know what he's going to do until when you get there. So once you get there, everything God has for you will be released upon you. You're talking. But right now, he's just keeping it alive with a little mist coming up out the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. Watch this, watch this. You know what's so deep about that? Mist comes from where? The ground. Mist comes from the ground, right? Mist comes from below. So God says that 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 the herbs and everything I created is being taken care of itself by itself from the mist that comes from it. But where do rain come from? Heaven. And what happens when things come from heaven? Things begin to supernaturally begin to grow. So many of us just making it day by day because we only live it on a mist. Talk preacher. Because you're out of position. God said, I'm not going to kill you yet. I'm just going to let you take care of yourself. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. 
I caught it. Woo! I got to get it.